What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I have uh, sort of a random opening, I guess, for you guys. This one's going to be kind of different, because today we're going to open up two of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card bricks, I, I guess is what I'm going to call them. Anyway, there's this store that opened up near me that uh, sells a lot of different, like, used Yu-Gi-Oh cards and other things too. They're kind of similar to Hastings, if you guys remember that store. I, I don't know if the, all of them uh, went out of business or what, but they have, like, a lot of different just random things. And uh, they had a sale going on where they actually had two of these card bricks. I only had two of them left. I picked them both up because it was buy one, get one free. And I think, yeah, they were $8 each. So I think it might be kind of a fun random opening just to see what we get. Did we waste money? Did we get something awesome? Maybe similar to that kind of collection opening I did recently because you guys seem to really enjoy that. So see what we get. I mean, I could tell this has to be pretty good because it has Cyber Nova Dragon. I, I don't like the rubber bands on it, though. I always hate to see that because... Yeah, dang, kind of damaged the cards. We'll see. I'm I'm sure that uh, these cards are from someone's collection that, that maybe they traded in for some money or something. I don't know. Let's see, get that shrink wrap off. I'll go ahead and get the other one, too, while we're at it. So I don't have to mess with it later. But yeah, if you guys want to see more openings like this, let me know down in the comments. I can try to get more collections and stuff, too. I just thought this might be kind of fun and random. Just because uh, since they had that Memorial Day sale going, I was like, hey, <laughs> this could be cool. Yeah, this one does have the rubber bands around it, so it's kind of going everywhere. We'll get to it last. Because I see, like, it has some sleeves in it, too, so I wonder if that means a hollow every time there's a sleeves card. I don't know. Again, we'll just have to see. Oh, that's the price tag, by the way. So you know what I'm throwing away. <laughs> anyway, let's go through it. I don't even know exactly how many cards are supposed to be here. We have Cyber Dragon Nova, so obviously that's a pretty good start. Cleefort Genius, not bad. That's a good rare. Just some Drobe. A lot of Legendary Dex cards, basically. Person the army. Uh, Chimera deck. That's actually pretty good, too. Breaker. Absolute Crusader. Oh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. Another legendary deck card. And even Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. Supreme King for uh, Clear Wing. Odd Eyes Fusion. Yeah, I figured this one would be good. When I saw that it started off with uh, Cyber Dragon Nova, I was thinking it has to be legendary deck cards. And you can't go wrong with those. Like, just about every common for those is amazing. Another one of Nova. Crush Card Virus, Mirror Force. We're actually another reprint of that soon, too. I think in the barrel, uh, the uh, the rocket, excuse me, uh, structure deck. Oh, yeah, Claw of Hermos. There you go. That's obviously notable. Here, let me set some of these down. I can't hold them all together like that. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Magic Exemplar. Thousand Knives. There you go. Uh, Knight of Critias. The Fang of Critias, too. There. Maybe we'll get all three. Legend of Heart. Of course, Dark Magician. There's Knight of Hermos as well. Dark Magician Girl. Should have had that playmat, right? <laughs> Using my Dark Magician playmat right now. Skilled Dark Magician. We got a bunch of those from the other collection opening. Magician's Robe. Dark Magic Inheritance. This card's gotten a lot better, too, with the new support that came out for Dark Magicians. Oh, we, we did get a hollow. Oh, man, there we go. I was hoping we'd at least have one hollow in this, right? Uh, Dark Magical Circle. Yeah, that's another one from Legendary Decks, but still, that's a really good card for Dark Magician. I'll take that. That is still really good. And we even got Tamias. Can't go wrong with Tamias either. Any printing of it is always good. It's one of my favorite cards, too. I'm so happy that all the Legendary Dragons were actually printed. Knight of Tamias as well. More Dark Magicians, too. And then you even get the, the Fusions. Dark Magician Girl, Dragon Knight, Dark Paladin. Never go wrong with that. <laughs> Amulet Dragon. Doom Virus even, too. They need to throw in a uh, Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, in this, too. I'm hoping that's what I'm going to find here in a second. Cyber Twin. Chimeratic. Oh, these are awesome. <laughs> I'm glad I picked this one up for sure. Like I said, it was $8 uh, for both of these. Limited Removal. Overload Fusion. All their different Cyber Dragon cards, even Power Bonds. Of course, regular Cyber Dragon. Got three of them. Okay, and that's awesome. Even Core. Basically got the Cyber Dragon core right here. <laughs> now, the, now that I, I say that, you know, kind of looking through these, you could build Cyber Dragons basically with this uh, brick of cards. Still missing a few things, but you're close. <laughs> Quaking Mirror Force, even. Cyber Dinosaur. I still like that card, even though it's not really Cyber Dragon card. <laughs> it's still cool looking. Storming Mirror Force, that, that's a really good trap card. That's one of the more annoying cards out there, I swear. <laughs> you go against that. Nothing's like getting all your cards just sent away. Machina Fortress. I still wonder if it will be a, a future structure deck that gets a, a redone version of it. That should happen. Summer Valley, a couple of them, and then Evolution Burst. 
that was really good, actually. I was hoping that it'd be a lot of Legendary Deck stuff, and that's what happened. Even got a Hollow. So, happy with that. Let's try this other one, too. There's a few sleeved cards in this. And, again, I don't know if that means a Hollow or just randomly sleeved card. We'll see. This one seems more random, though. What are these from? Oh, yeah, uh, Abyss Rising? Or, no, Absolute Power Force. That's what it is, not Abyss Rising. What am I thinking? Some of the others. Yeah, a lot of Sea Monster cards, really. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> Blue Breaker. I know some of these are from the Structure Deck, too. Deep Diver. It's a pretty good reprint. And that uh, Slushy. There you go. You guys know that's one of my favorite cards. That's one of my spirit cards, so <laughs> that's cool to see. I, I like how you can actually get a hollow one, too. It's like from the Astral Pack or something. Starfish? Yeah, somebody liked Water Monsters. Oh? Is that? Oh, okay. That's just... For a second, I thought it was the ultimate rare one. I was thinking, holy crap. Still good, though. I'll take the, the rare. That's pretty awesome. Force of the Breaker, by the way. That's what that's from. Big Jaws. A few of those. <laughs> Again, they like sea monster cards. They like the different fish cards. Eagle Shark. A bunch of different sharks, of course. Neil Sunfish. Not bad. Hoping, though, for like a hollow or something, too. Yeah, again, it's, you can tell it's a lot of, like, structured at cards and stuff, too, with it. Here, let me set those down so it'll make it a little bit easier for me. Legendary Ocean. I remember using that a lot back in the day. Terraforming, always a good common to pick up. But, and it's been reprinted so many times, but I can't have too many. It seems like I always use them. Water Hazard? And? We got an Elemental Hero! Wow, really? <laughs> that, that seems so random, doesn't it? I'll take it. I mean, no complaints. Don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> yeah, that is from uh, Strike of Neos. So, we actually got an Ultra from Strike of Neos from this. That is amazing. That just seems funny. I'm going through all these different Sea Monster ones, and shouldn't it be like Aqua Neos? I mean, I like Grand Neos a little bit better, but still. <laughs> that, you kind of throw it off the theme, aren't you, buddy? That is awesome, though. We actually got an Elemental Hero. Oh, that's not all. Oh, looks like we got a few more hollows. Here we go. Gem Knight Master Diamond, which I know that's kind of a pricier secret, so that might help with uh, what we bought. That's pretty good. So, we got two hollows on that. Uh, Bell and Boxer. Yeah, okay, now we're kind of going off theme. We're not going with uh, just uh, water monsters anymore. A few different things now. I'm seeing some more Bell and Boxers. One well, Light Ray uh, Daedalus. That's actually a pretty good one, too. More Bell and Boxers. Fire Fist. Even got Burner <laughs> for a Dragon Ruler. Uh, Air Orca. Really interesting ones. And pretty much all the baby Dragon Rulers, or at least two of them. And another Hollow. Okay, cool. I know it's not a crazy one, but I'll take it. I mean, I have a random thing where I just think I'm pretty much getting all commons. I'll definitely take a hollow. There, that is uh, Mega Phantom Beast uh, Turtle Racer. I believe that was the sneak preview card, if I'm not mistaken. It, you could get as Ultra. I think the Super Rare one, though, was actually in the set. I'll take it, though. Again, that's a hollow. <laughs> no complaints here. Anything else? Some of the Heroic Challengers. Now we're kind of going back to Water Monsters. Oh, yeah, Abyssal King Shark. That's actually a pretty good one, too. That's from Battle Pack. I remember being so happy that I got reprinted because it was a secret rare. Got a couple of them. And even a Mermel uh, Abyssin. So that gives us another holo, another super rare. First edition, even. That might come in handy. Mermels are getting a little bit of hype lately. Well, they finally got their Link Monster as well. Some more Mermels. And, yeah, I was hoping for maybe, like, one of the main Mermels to be there, right? <laughs> that would have been asking for too much. But, yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Just something kind of random. I don't know. If you guys want to see more of these in the future, let me know down in the comments. But I'm pretty happy with this. For $8, I got some really good commons. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of, actually, quite a few hollows. More than I thought I would get, honestly. <laughs> I figured maybe I'd get, like, two hollows if I was lucky. So, I'm pretty happy with this. Especially getting uh, Grand Neos, actually, from Strike of Neos. And you guys know, that set is, like, stupid expensive right now because mainly because people are trying to get storm neos it needs a reprint seriously konami battles of legend reprint it just saying anyway though uh yeah <laughs> i am definitely uh i'm looking forward to maybe seeing if i get some more of these too i know they actually had some bigger boxes as well they mainly had magic the gathering and pokemon but if i can find some more of these Yu-Gi-Oh ones uh, would you guys like to see them let me know like i said down in the comments and of course as always 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, of course, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. And uh, let me know if there's any requests that you have for really any Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Of course, if there's some kind of pack or collection stuff or whatever, let me know and I'll try to hunt it down. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.